JPS has been working for years with Mississippi Symphony Orchestra and all of them. They have kids evolve in the arts, and particularly in string music, which is quite in demand. And uh, many kids have gained scholarships and gone on to be very successful. Not necessarily as professional musicians, but also as scholarship money to help them go into other subjects. First of all, Pussy, please welcome to the stage. You can see them coming on. For the rest of the program, they're going to join us. It's members of the Mississippi Youth Symphony Orchestra. Young ladies and gentlemen, some of them in your classes, some of them in your school. Today, we're going to see a connection of music. We're going to entertain kids in a very unique way. We're going to play music that is the softest music, the loudest music, the lowest music. We're going to do a number of things. We're going to do the perpetual motion in which we will have students perform with us, students from JPS Strings students perform with us and get a chance to, to mingle with the musicians and to get a professional attitude so that they can take that into their daily routine, their daily studies, and their daily lives. So we hope you please enjoy the Mississippi Symphony Orchestra performing for Jackson Public School music students and Jackson Public School students in general. Thank you very much. Thank you and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the most exciting event in musical sports. It is the Orchestra Olympics. Here's our attempt to play for you the world's fastest music ever written, The Flight of the Bumblebee. <laughs> beneficial because universities all over the country are looking for students to perform and play and contribute to their program. Next event for the morning is the loudest music. Here they come, three musicians are coming down stage, and you, ladies and gentlemen, will be the judges. The first competitor is a member of the percussion family. What is the name of this percussion instrument? Tam-tam. This is the tam-tam. Sometimes we call it the gong. The name of this instrument is the? Oboe. What is the name of this all-metal instrument? The trombone. Competitors, are you ready? We're going to go one at a time. The trombone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are now going to be the judge. I do believe the trombone has won the competition this morning for loudest music. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is now our pleasure to present for you the loudest piece of music ever written for symphony orchestra. So 
they don't necessarily have to be a music major to contribute. So that's one of the links that we have here in Jackson Public Schools. I try to follow my students up and try to make sure that they achieve as much as possible, no matter what field they're in, and we try to use music to help them do that. Our second event of the morning is an attempt to perform for you soft as possible. The name of this very famous percussion instrument, we can all probably guess, but it is called the soft triangle. This is not the oboe, this is the clarinet. This is a string instrument called the cello. This is not a trombone. The name of this instrument is the this is the horn. The French horn, sometimes we actually call it. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, listen very carefully with your ears over the next minute and a half because you will have to judge. Wow, I do believe the French horn has won the competition for the quietest music of the morning. The softest music, the quietest music ever written for symphony orchestra. Softest music for folks. Also, music gains a lot of, in, in particularly string music, cognitive skills that help the kids evolve and learn faster and learn in quicker ways. Uh, memory, mastery of material, and things of that nature. We are now going to perform for you the slowest music ever written for an orchestra. It is called the Turtle. Category is playing the highest, not the lowest, but the highest music that you can. And he is going to play the orchestra bells. This instrument is called the piccolo. Piccolo. And then once again, we have a string instrument. We already heard from the violins earlier. Here is our first competitor trying to play the highest music of the morning. That's as high as he can go.
I do believe that our orchestra bells have won the competition for the highest. The opposite of highest is lowest. Our final competition with musicians downstage now. The biggest woodwind is not the piccolo, it is not the oboe, it is not the clarinet, it is not the flute. It is the... The low and dangerous bassoon. This is the biggest string instrument of all. This is not a violin. This is not a fiddle. This is not a cello. What is the name of this crazy instrument? Well, it's a double bass, bass violin, bass fiddle, string bass. The biggest brass instrument. This is, again, a wind instrument. What is the name of this very famous brass instrument? The tuba. Please use your ears. Here is the bassoon playing as low as humanly possible. I do believe that the double bass has won the competition for lowest music. Quite a show, quite a show. For our next competition, the orchestra is going to perform for you the longest piece of music ever written for symphony orchestra. So see, it goes on forever, but we must go. We're going to end our version of perpetual motion right there by getting off of our merry-go-round. We're going to now play what we think is the scariest piece of music ever written for orchestra. Here's a piece called A Night on Bald Mountain. We have really enjoyed playing for you this morning for the Orchestra Olympics, a program about extremes. We have, with your help, explored the events, the highest, lowest, longest, fastest, slowest, and so on and so forth. And in the course, we've also gotten to know a lot of the instruments in the orchestra.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to attempt to perform the shortest piece of music ever written for Symphony Orchestra. Thank you very much.